Hi, it's Fabio again and welcome to the third part of this walkthrough for Synchron Brass. This video is all about trombones. For the trombones, Synchron Brass provides us with three soloists, a tenor trombone, a bass trombone and a cimbasso, and also two sections, four tenor trombones and nine trombones, a mix of tenor and bass trombones. We've seen many features of Synchron Brass and the Synchron Player in the previous two parts, so you may want to check this video out if you didn't already. Check now the link in the upper right corner. I want to start with the Chimbasso straight away. It's an instrument I love and I'm very happy to see it sampled so well and so deeply by BSL for Synchron Brass. I'll take this opportunity to point out the recently redesigned Academy section on the BSL website where you can find detailed information about close to all instruments the team in Vienna sampled throughout the years, including specific sound characteristics, ranges, and sound combinations. Very useful stuff. Now, let's hear some of the articulations available for the Cimbasso. As usual, we start with the short notes, in particular with the staccato ball. Staccato agile. Let's check out some of the mics combination. I will now raise the main C channel while playing to show you how this will affect the instrument presence at the center of your stereo field. Now the high and high surround mics. Mid and close mics, very important to increase the punchiness and the definition of the instrument. Okay, we move on with the portato once again with normal and long variants. Now the portato long. We move to the dynamics articulation and we start with the sforzato. Sforzatissimo. Pre-recorded length crescendo. Four seconds. And diminuendos. Check the horns part to see how to sync these crescendos with your project tempo. Fast repetitions now. On the lower range it becomes almost an effect. Moving on to the tenor trombone, 
This is what the legato sounds like. Let me quickly talk about one of my favorite features the Synchron Player inherited from Vienna Instrument Pro, the human hands feature controlling the performance accuracy. It's a great parameter to play with to add character and realism. For example, when you reach the upper register of the instrument or in a very fast passage to simulate the natural imperfection a player would encounter in those situations. Let's move on with some other articulation for the tenor trombone. I will play a couple of examples combining several articulations to show how balanced they are and how easy it is to combine them to create a um, convincing and realistic performance. <laughs> And now a little extract of the tenor trombone part from my synchron brass track, Building Your Legacy. Synchron brass bass trombone is another solo instrument I am sure you will fall in love with. As usual, we now take a look to some of the articulations for the bass trombone, starting from the staccatos. Portatos. Impressive dynamic range, as usual. And here we are at the trombone sections for synchron brass. Four tenor trombones offer the large set of articulation we know from the other ensembles, plus the idiomatic glissandos, Minor and major second, forward, up and down. Let's start with this. Minor, second, up. Down. Major, second, up. You see, you can hold the note or release the note whenever you like. And I think even this articulation has at least two velocity layers. We now go back to the staccatos.
Staccato Agile. And all the long notes variants we learned by now. the beautiful and powerful legato. Dynamics uh, starting with the sforzato. Sforzatissimo. And now the several choices we have for the crescendos and diminuendos. The diminuendo soft. And we can help the fade out with the timbre adjust. For the four trombones, we also find the flatter tongue. And of course with the marcato variant. Now fast repetitions as usual with ringing variant. And the cut variant that we can use to connect those fast repetitions to other articulations. The nine trombones form one of the most powerful ensembles of this library and probably one of the most powerful ensembles you may need for your virtual instrument arsenal. Great dynamic range from soft and round to mighty and brassy. I'm in love with the soft variant of the long notes. This gentle tone you don't expect from such an ensemble. This is the perfect chance to test one of the uh, standard processed mixer presets, in particular the compressed one. And you may notice how with just a simple click the sound is going to be affected. OK, 
Okay, I move back to my favorite preset, which is usually the surround to stereo white. And I can show you now some of the tweaks I usually do. But remember that you can always save your own preset so that you can recall it instantly. And now another example from the building your legacy demo, combining together several articulations for the nine trombones. <laughs> And that was it for the synchron brass trombones. A lot of material to dig deeper and of course the versatile synchron player allows you to customize those samples in many ways. Thanks a lot for joining me once again and see you soon for the next and last part of this walkthrough series where we are going to check out the huge low brass section and the deepest of the soloists, the bass tuba. Thank you.